In today's video, we're going to check out the ultimate Samsung DeX USB-C hub that will work on Samsung phones, your MacBook, or other Windows PCs. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. So today I'm going to be reviewing the AZ Dome 12-in-1 USB-C adapter for your Samsung phone or even MacBook Pros or Windows with C adapters on the device. So a uh, huge shout out to AZ Dome for sending this to me so I can show you guys how this works. This runs about $110 on Amazon right now. So this does have 12 different ports that you can use here on the back. We have a regular USB-C. This can be used for charging as well as data transfer. We have a display port, a HDMI, VGA. Um, the HDMI and the display port will export out at 4K at 30 Hertz. And then here the VGA will actually do 1080p at 60 Hertz. And then here you have three USB 3.0 inputs and then a ethernet port and then full SD card and a micro SD card. And then on the back here you have the headphone jack. So let's set this up. I'm gonna show you how it works and all the things that it can do. Before we get into it, I do wanna mention that if you're going to use the AZ Dome adapter for Samsung DeX, it is recommended by Samsung to use a genuine Samsung DeX device like the DeX pad. I've made many videos about this before. So if you wanna know more about this device, you can click the link in the pop-up on screen, but I did get it to work with this device and we'll talk about what does work and what doesn't work, so let's jump right in. So here are all the devices that we'll be testing out today, see if they work within this adapter here. And there are different types of adapters that you can get from AZ Dome, but this is the 12 in one adapter. So the first thing that I'm going to do is plug in a fast charging USB-C power cable. This is one that came with my Samsung DeX. It doesn't come with this, but we're gonna make sure that we charge our devices while we are using this. And then I'm gonna plug in a few other things real quick. So we do want to have mouse support. So we're going to plug in our little USB adapter for our mouse as well as for our Dell keyboard here, we're gonna plug that in. So let's start off by testing out VGA with the Samsung Galaxy S9. So here I'm going to plug in my VGA port right there. So then I'm just going to plug in the USB-C into my Galaxy S9. There we got a notice that the HDMI is connected. So you may need to check to make sure that your monitor is on the proper input. So now that we have it plugged in, you can see that it is mirroring exactly what I see on my screen. It actually works relatively well. So there you go, the VGA does work with the Galaxy S9, but when you go into the menu here, you don't see any option to go into Samsung DeX. That is something that is now only available on the Galaxy Note 9 with other third-party adapters like this one. So you do have a screen mirroring option here. Not sure why the resolution is a bit off, but it actually works really well and it's, it's pretty smooth. So you'd be able to um, use any of your applications that you want on here. So now let's try it over here on the HDMI cable. So I'm going to plug in a display port into the adapter. And there you can actually see that it is displaying on both of the devices at one time. So now let's move on to the Galaxy S9 Plus. Let's see if we have a different experience. Now this device is a T-Mobile device. The other one was a global unlocked phone. So here we have it plugged in. And then there it gave a notification that HDMI is connected. And now you can see that since it is connected, it's showing up on both screens. So over here on my Samsung 4K, as well as through the VGA. So pretty awesome. Everything I do over here works just like that. So if you're watching a video, it would mirror onto the screen as well. If you wanted to play music or something, you would need to make sure that you have audio output on the TV. So you would need like a um, speaker on the TV here. These monitors don't have audio or you could still use your headphone jack on the phone to be able to plug that in. Let's go into a app where we can go landscape on here. So if I'm in the internet browser and I go into landscape mode here, you can see that that works as well. So really quick, really smooth. But again, when you go into the settings, you do not have an option for Samsung DeX. Now we should be able to use our mouse so we can use the mouse on here as well as the keyboard. So that all works while you are plugged into the adapter here. 
So now let's try out our Note 9. And there you can see that the Note 9 did go right into Samsung DeX mode. So this is the full Samsung DeX top. Um, I did do a full video on how you can use this with the Note 9, with the S Pen and all that stuff. And I am getting that notice. It says use genuine Samsung DeX accessories for the best Samsung experience. So I'll leave a link to those in the description below. But here we can use our mouse on the screen. If we pull open a search bar, we can start typing and it will show all of those applications. So now let's test out some of the other ports. So we have our mouse and our keyboard working right now. So then let's go ahead and plug in a USB-C flash drive. And if I open up the My Files application, down here that we see the USB storage, and here I have a movie on here, so let's load that right up. Go into the video player. So like I said before, there will be no audio coming out of here. So here I have an auxiliary cable plugged into my Google Home Max. So we're just gonna plug this in to the end of the AZ dome. And then click play. And there you go, that works. So next let's try out the other ports here. So let's plug in my SD card. So we're gonna plug the SD card right in and there you saw USB storage popped up. So now we have USB storage one and USB storage two. So we're gonna to go to one, that's the new one I just plugged in. We're gonna to go to DCIM, Canon, and then we can check out some of the pictures I just took about the AZ dome. So we can open these up, see the amazing quality that they are. You can zoom in, drag around, just like that. Let's try out some videos that are on that drive. So there it shows up without any wait time, it worked really well, playing the videos right from my camera. And now let's plug in a micro SD card. So that is just right below the full SD card slot. So I did have to plug that in upside down. So over here we have another option. We now have three storage options and then we can go in here to my camera on this one and we can see some of the other pictures. So you can open this up. You could easily copy different pictures over. So I can click and hold and then I can drag this right onto say my desktop of Samsung DeX, so we could open up that picture. Just like that. So our little port is getting pretty full right here, and it is working on both of these displays at the same time, which is pretty awesome. So the next thing that we're going to try is we're going to plug in the Ethernet port. So let's first go do a speed test. So now this is working directly over my Wi-Fi, so it's just downloading at whatever Wi-Fi speed it has. And then down here, you'll notice that I am currently on Wi-Fi at the bottom of the screen. All right, that did pretty good. We got 32 download and 58 upload, but now let's plug in our ethernet port. And once you plug that in, it just takes a second, but then down here we have a new icon indicating that we are plugged in via ethernet. So that is definitely working. Let's go ahead and redo the test. All right, and that did quite a bit better. Here we have 67 megabits per second download, and then we have 102 upload, which is more than I actually pay for. So that's pretty awesome that it is able to download at that speed. So real quick, let's check out what resolution it is showing on the screen. So if I go into the menu here, go into Samsung Deck settings, here we have screen resolution, and right now it is only displaying at 1080p. And again, it's only showing at the 1080p. It will not display in the 1440. So here we are plugged in with HDMI. Works just the same. Samsung DeX, screen resolution, and there again, we're still at 1080. It was only with the Samsung DeX pad that I was able to get it to show up to 1440 resolution. 
So when you are using the Samsung DeX with the Note 9, it will only display the same thing on both displays. There is no way to have a dual display. So I can't have one screen show one thing and another do another. You can have the Note show one thing and then you can have the display show different, but that's all that there is. So now let's go and test out. I'm gonna remove one of the USB-C ports and then here I'm gonna plug in a larger hard drive. This doesn't have external power. It's just plugged right in to the USB slot. All right, it did not like that drive at all. Maybe it's a little too higher powered. Uh, sometimes if you have a hard drive that's powered on its own, you might be able to do that, but uh, that one did not work. So here we're back at the screen mirroring. If I wanna go into Samsung DeX, I may need to just unplug and plug this back in. All right, and the last thing we are going to try is plugging in the printer via USB. So here we have it plugged in. And here it says we do need a HP printer service plug-in. So we're going to select OK. All right, let's do some quick word processing. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make that a little bit bigger. Let's increase the size here. 20, now let's go uh, Go 72, oh, that looks great. All right, Control P, getting the printer ready. And it looks like here, I do have my printer showing up as a wireless printer, but here it shows via USB. So we're gonna select USB, and then we are going to select print. And it says, do you want to use HP printer service plugin? So it just depends on what printer you have, if this is available or not. And there we go, pretty awesome. So using this with the Note 9 and Samsung DeX definitely works best. If you're using any other Samsung phone, it will only screen mirror. You still will be able to use mouse and keyboard, as well as adding some of the USB drives and the SD card. But if you want to use Samsung DeX, you do need to have the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now let's test this out on a Samsung computer with a USB-C port. All right, so here we have our Samsung Notebook 9. I'm just gonna plug this right into the USB port here on the side. And then it was able to extend my desktop via the VGA cable or the HDMI cable. I was not able to have them play at the same time. It would only do one or the other. Um, I'm not sure exactly how it would work on the MacBook, but you should have uh, the access to full desktop on there as well. And then here, if I go into my file browser, we can see if all those drives are still there. So here I have the USB drive with all of the files that I have taken on my phone earlier. So you can see all those, which come up really nice. And then here we have the other drive, which this is the little micro USB card. So we can go and see all those same files that we saw before. So that works really well. And then we have the mouse and keyboard input, no problem. And if we wanted to print something, we would be able to do that right from the printer as well. You may need to just go and install the drivers. But uh, yeah, the other USB port should work no problem. The audio is working great right out of here to my Google Home Max speaker. And there you have it. That is the AZ Dome 12 in one hub. Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you have any further questions about the AZ Dome, Samsung DeX, or any of the things that we talked about today, please let me know in the comments below. And if this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.